Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the podcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? This is the epitome of I know we're in 2021 now, but this is the epitome of peak 2020 leftism fear induced hypocrisy. This is of course Seattle, the Lake City area. This is an um this is Ace Hardware store. That guy you see with a baseball bat, covered in tattoos, and the guy behind him, they are not vagrants or addicts on the street, like Seattle is full of those type of people, of course. They are actually employees of Ace Hardware, okay? They have stopped two people from entering the store because they're not wearing masks, even though there are mask mandates ending, so people are allowed to enter stores or to go about their life without their face nappy on and so on and so on. But because in the United States they have state laws, some states differ than others. Therefore, you are going to have a situation where in a country with 350 million people, you are bound to have incidences where people get mistaken, muddled up, confused, or make a mistake. We're only human, okay? That's not good enough for the left. You know that. You're not allowed. They will look. They will look through your history to find one comment you made 20 years ago and try and destroy you with it. You're not allowed to make mistakes. The only people who are allowed to make mistakes are the left. And of course, they are not only encouraged to do so, but they fail upwards. So the two customers try and enter the store. The Seattle born and bred woke employees threaten the two men and then attack one of them with a baseball bat. Uh, my own personal pet theory is because the mask has become a political statement for like the Democrats and so on and so on. And this being Seattle, they probably thought that these two were Trump supporters. They might be. So they, instead of talking, they instantly went on attack mode because as leftists, they have been programmed to hate and attack Trump supporters. But the best part about it, or the worst part, depending on what side you take, is the fact that the guy with the baseball bat, the employee of the the shop who started the fight, ends up losing it. (laughs) The guy without the mask... Without the the guy who does not have a mask or a baseball bat ends up putting him on the floor. Anyway, look, let's get into this video. But if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video around social media, Facebook, Twitter, and the like. We are shadow banned, reduced, demonetized. We are conservative commentators, and as such, we are not welcome on this platform. So we need your help to share the video around. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we'll watch the clip and then we'll go back after it's finished and watch again and I'll stop it intermittently to make the points that I feel I need to make. Hit me with the bat. Get out. You talk to me with that bat? Get out. Fuck you and get out. These are the employees at Ace Hardware in fucking Seattle. What a fucking punk bitch. Look at this shit. What the fuck, man? Real guys here, huh? You better get the fuck off him. Look at these fucking pieces of shit. I got the whole fucking thing on video, bitch. I got the whole fucking thing on video, bitch. You talk. Unbelievable. So the guy, we'll go back and I'll start it again but i just want to say first of all that keep an eye on this guy so the these are all employees so they are attacking a customer because he's not wearing a mask take a look at this guy in the background notice something he's pulled his mask down just so you can hear him better as he insults you and your family that's what counts and this guy here's got a baseball bat this is peak seattle This is peak leftist, peak hypocrisy, peak hatred. This is what a customer sees when they enter the Ace Hardware store 
in Lake City in uh, Seattle. Anyway, look, let's go back and we'll watch again. And there's some good points I really need to make. Get that? Get out. Oh, fuck you and get on, dick. He's the employees at Ace Hardware in fucking Seattle. What a fuck. So, he rammed him in the stomach with a baseball bat, then comes out of the shop, doesn't stay inside, comes out to attack the customer. Okay, so he's attacked him with a baseball bat, said a few, and this is apparently over all, oh, you know, you might be contagious. The thing that gets me with these leftists is they say that they don't they don't you're a threat to grandmother because you're not wearing a mask yet they will willfully invade your private space they will willfully get face to face with you nose to nose and even as we're going to see pull the mask down and essentially rub their face all over you so how does that um correlate with the idea that oh you need to wear a mask you're contagious you might kill my grandmother surely you would be moving away from someone but let's focus on the fact that this is an employee of a store who attacked a customer with a baseball bat because he didn't have a mask on even though mask mandates are ending he was given no chance to the customer to um explain himself it was just an instant barrage of foul-mouthed um, abuse followed by an assault first with a baseball bat and now a physical assault the employee left the store to attack him it wasn't like he was in self-defense inside the store like a robbery or something he left it to attack him this level of hatred that has been displayed this quickly leads me to believe that he because the mask has become a political symbol leads me to believe that he thinks that because this guy is not wearing a mask he must be a trump supporter this is seattle and this is a left wing ran hellhole ran by people who think they have the right to attack you because you voted for the orange guy or because you have a different political opinion and this is a, a manifestation of that, a physical manifestation of what goes on inside their heads. Fucking punk bitch. Look at this shit. What the fuck, man? Real guys here, huh? And there you go. So the employee who attacked this guy in the lighter red here, the customer, he attacked him with a baseball bat and then physically attacked him outside has now been put on it literally put on his rear end by the customer the maskless customer who he attacked so this guy is trying he wants you to believe that he's only doing this because the maskless guy is a threat to grandma he's concerned oh you might contaminate someone with rona yet look he's why would you do that if you're scared that someone's going to contaminate you why would you rub yourself all over them like that it doesn't make sense does it it's ridiculous but to do something like that to ask a question like that you need to have um cognitive thinking skills you need to have critical thinking skills this is something the left in general don't have they react on emotion conservative people react on um that they think they react on rationale on logic the left reacts on emotion so this npc saw who he thought was a trump supporter because he didn't have the face covering political statement on he immediately picked up a baseball bat and then attacked him and then loses the fight bearing in mind this is an employee of the shop. Stop! You better get the fuck Stop. off him. See, now he's pulling his mask back up. His mask was down. Look at these fucking pieces of shit. I got the whole fucking thing on. So if we go back, look, that guy there in the Ace t-shirt, 
He's also an employee. He's pulled his mask down to say F you to the customer. So the customer gets assaulted with a baseball bat because his mask is down or he doesn't have one on. Yet both of the employees that do the physical and verbal attacking of the customer rub themselves all over the man that they attacked with the baseball bat, the customer. The one in the dark shirt with the literally company name on the on his t-shirt, Ace Hardware, pulls his mask down to shout at him. So I ask you, is it really about contamination, especially as mask mandates are ending? I think you know it's not. That's certainly my opinion. It's not. It's about, in my opinion, a political statement and whether you are a part of the in team or not. If you, excuse me, it's different as in with a capital D, as in a Democrat D. It's different. I'm sure you've seen that meme around. It's hard to verbalize it, but it's a capital D as in Democrat, and then the rest of the word as in different, IFF and so on. I got the whole fucking thing on video, bitch. So there, look, his mask's down, so the guy who, the customer who got assaulted can hear him. But the guy who attacked him doesn't seem to register it because it's different. Suck your fucking Pussy, you came out with a bat. Yeah. I got the whole fucking thing on video, bitch. He came out with a bat. These are employees. And, and I know this is new. I know this is fresh. It just happened last night. Um, here in Britain with our timeline. I mean, we're just finding out about it now. But there's been... I looked online and so far there's been no comment from Ace Hardware. There is a, a small part of me that believes that they won't be fired because again it's different with a capital d right this is seattle i don't believe that they will be punished for that these are leftists they fail upwards they don't fail downwards um so i they'll probably get a reward they'll probably get uh, a gofundme meanwhile the customer who got attacked they'll probably get vilified and depersoned i do know that the seattle police as cucked as ever have issued a statement and the seattle police the statement that they issued was that they've received two different versions of events well don't you receive two different versions of events on every crime when you charge someone with murder and they say i did not do it and the crown or the uh, state says i did do it or even if it's a, uh, a burglary, the a homeowner says he did do it. The suspected burglar says I did not do it. There's always two versions of events. So what a stupid thing to say. A man has been attacked, a customer, by an employee with a baseball bat who came out of the shop to attack him. Out of. Full stop. You don't need to know anything more than that to know that a crime has been committed. You can look for mitigating and aggregating circumstances because it's Seattle and the Seattle police, I should imagine they'll only be looking for mitigating circumstances. They'll probably fabricate their own mitigating circumstances to get them off for it. But they came out of the shop to attack a man, right? A customer. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I am gonna keep my eye on this because I wanna know if they get fired. Because if it had been Trump supporters in Texas who did that to Democrats, you you know that it'd be front page news and they'd be demanding the employees' heads. And they'd probably get their heads. But because it's de Democrats in Seattle, it's different with a capital D. Anyway, look, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and share this video around. That will help me stay competitive with the mainstream media, with the fake news media, who get pushed to the front while us conservative commentators get pushed to the bottom on a platform that just simply does not want us here. 
Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.